how I came to know about Full Sail is kind of an interesting story. I hired about 25 multimedia designers at, at uh, my last company that I owned. And the last three were from Full Sail. And this was back when we were um, just an associates program. And typically before I'd come to Full Sail, I would hire experts, you know. So I'd hire an expert videographer, an expert Photoshop operator, um, and then an expert webmaster, which is what we used to call them. And then I, I was introduced to a Full Sail uh, grad and I hired him and their expert knowledge blew the quote unquote experts away. And it wasn't even close. It wasn't 40, 60 or anything like that. It was more like 80, 20. They knew so much more. And that wasn't what impressed me though. Yeah, it's great that they knew a lot. I thought maybe this guy is just a freak, you know, and he just knows all this stuff and works like crazy. It turns out um, it's the education model because I, I hired two other Full Sail grads. And what really impressed me was uh, the breadth of their training, not just the depth, but the ability for our grads to take a, a graphic, a piece of audio, a piece of video, maybe some motion graphics, and put them all together and then implement them out into the world, whether it's using um, a website or a print piece or a broadcast or even a digital cell phone. Um, being able to become a digital content producer and not just a creator is what we're, what we're trying to do here at Full Sail. Our digital arts and design degree program is the broadest program here at Full Sail because I think the title kind of gives it away. It's about the digital arts. So that means I have to train our students on how to create all kinds of digital content, whether it's still or dynamic or driven on a back-end database um, or uh, seen through a camera. So we have to teach them how to do design and what does that mean and now implement the design in a 2D world and what does that mean and then think about it in a 3D world and now take your graphics and move them around and now videotape them and let's put them out on the web and let's do a print portfolio let's do some interactive pieces and we're kind of stair-stepping them through um, teaching design really heavily all along the way and then teaching the technology needed to implement that design but culminating in that experience of being able to put multiple types of media together to create a, a, a true, what I like to call a multimedia extravaganza piece. And that's important because what it shows the employer is not only can you design, not only are you good at the tools, but you know how to implement it in multiple formats out into the world. And that really is key for today's marketing needs. Here at Full Sail, in our degree program, we concentrate heavily in the Adobe package, the Creative Suite package uh, for designers, and also some Apple tools, and I'll go through them. Basically, it's Photoshop and Illustrator are the bedrock of the design industry, so we do a lot of work with Photoshop and Illustrator. Um, after that is After Effects, and that's where we take uh, the graphics that they've created and put them on a timeline and animate them. Um, and get them ready for all kinds of things, the broadcast and insertion into videos and, and things of that nature. Um, and then we talk about 3D, and we, we introduce them to 3D Studio Max, and we've got actually three months where they learn how to create and model and then animate and then uh, create a scene. Now, the scene that they do in 3D might be a virtual set uh, or a set that you walk into that looks like you're surrounded by... Um, you know, fancy computers, or you could be uh, on a beach, or you could be in any, any, anything that you can imagine you can create in 3D and then walk onto it. That's a really cool um, way to show off your final projects, because as we get further into the program, you start learning about uh, Flash and HTML and CSS, um, not to make you a coder, but to give you the tools to implement your designs onto the web. Um, and then we get into final project where they're going to really tweak up their, their individual projects that they've done throughout the degree program, and they're going to try and present them. And that gets us back to the virtual set. Imagine, if you will, that you're an employer uh, looking to hire somebody, and a candidate from Full Sail walks in, and they're showing you their work um, in a video format where they're actually talking to you and presenting their work on their own virtual set, uh, or like a 3D gallery that they've created, and they're pointing to the work behind them, which zooms up to the front screen so you can see it and then goes back and this guy, that student can keep talking about it. Now this presentation might be given on a CD or DVD on a computer screen, but he could easily just, just as easily be showing this on a Trio or an iPhone, something, something of that nature to the client. Um, and that's where I think the power of this degree program is. We're being able to put it all together and show it off in multiple formats. So we're definitely teaching um, all the high-end skills. The Apple products that we teach for video are our um, Final Cut HD and Motion and uh, Soundtracks are the main Apple pro programs that we teach here. So they, they, what we do is we try and find the, the industry standard pro application and teach that. And there's lots of different uh, industry standards and applications out there. So we want to teach our foundations really, really well. So for example, if they come in and we're teaching uh, uh, 
the film editing program Final Cut, and it's a job for Avid or Premiere, rather than the grad saying, well, I'm a Final Cut editor, they should say, I'm a nonlinear editor, and I can do this. And then they'll go and open up Premiere. They'll know the function of it. They just got to find the actual button for where this transition is or, or how to move from one, one segment of tape to another.